giving meds per tube, there are some special precautions that you need to know about giving meds per tube. For one thing, can this medication be crushed or opened? Uh, always check a drug book. It will tell you where, whether the med can be crushed or opened. Uh, if we're at the hospital, you can call pharmacy. They will gladly let you know or bring, send you up a sheet that says, yes, it can be crushed. Um, supplies you need, you need a pill crusher, a towel, a pistol tip syringe and a, a container, your medication gloves, and a stethoscope. All of your standard steps apply. So you would come in and tell him who you are and say, well, I've got some meds to give you per tube. Uh, let me do some checking here first. And you would want to check bowel sounds in all four quarters to make sure he's got bowel sounds because if he doesn't have any bowel sounds, he's not going to be able to pass that med and absorb it. So, and then you would look at the tube site. Is it red? Is it draining? Do I need to clean it? And then you're going to check for placement. So with placement, we have a couple of different ways of checking. We check at the hospital called auscultation, where we instill air and listen for the gurgle or the whoosh. Uh, Evidence-based practice says that we really ought to be checking it by pH. The stomach is very acidic, so the pH should be down to one, one to two. Uh, but neither hospital carries pH papers for us to do that. So we'll do it by auscultation. And you'll need about 20 mils of air. You would uncap it and put your pistol tip in. You would listen a little bit left of the insertion site. And you'd hear a gurgle. Now while you're here, you want to check for, uh, aspirate for any fluids. And we don't have any, so everything's going through normally. You would. Put the fluids back in, unplug it, and then get your meds ready because now we can give them. So we know that this medication can be crushed, and we've got Tagamint 200 milligrams, and you would tell him the Tagamint is for your tummy to make it feel better. Put it in your pill crusher. And if you're doing 10 meds, each med needs to be done separately. The only time we mix a lot of meds together if they're on a <clears throat> if they're on a strict INO. Otherwise, each one's done separately. And we're going to put about 10 mils of warm water. And you'd stir it till it dissolves. And we're going to start out with 20 mils of water. Clamp it before you get all the way down. Let me have this. You would and this is called bolus, where you pour it in 
let it drain, and then stop it right before it gets to the bottom. And since we only have the one med, we're going to finish up with like 30 cc's of water. Let that go in. And clamp it right before it gets to the bottom because you don't want to fill that tummy full of air. They're going to have a tummy ache. You would clamp it, clean up your mess. Make him comfortable. He happens to be at 30 degrees, but he needs to be at least 30 degrees up. And he needs to be up for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, if you're going to hook him back to a feeding or suction, which sometimes that happens, then they need to be uh, not hooked up for 30 minutes to an hour. So he needs to be up for 30 minutes and 30 minutes before you can hook him back to a feeding. You clean up your mess. But, and on documentation, the one thing you need to do before you leave the room is document on the INO sheet. As you're giving meds, you need to keep track of how many, how many mills you're giving them. If you've got 10 meds and we're using 20, 20 mils with each med, and then 10 to 15 between the meds, and we started out with 20 and we're given 30 to 60 afterwards, we could give them three or 400 mils of water. So you need to be sure that you know exactly how many mils of fluid you gave them. Um, also, you need to document in your nurse's notes at least once a shift that you check for placement per auscultation, how much residual he had, which he didn't have any, um, how he tolerated it, did he have bowel sounds, and what did the uh, peg, peg tube site look like. 